Tonight, the Supreme Court's ruling on college affirmative action programs has colleges and universities in the DMV and really across the nation for that matter trying to figure out what's next. Our Carl Willis is live at the Supreme Court tonight. He is on your side asking a college admissions expert what kind of impact this could have on the admissions process for your child. Carl? Well, Jonathan, Michelle, with this ruling striking race as a factor in college admissions, there is plenty of anxiety on all sides of this issue, especially when it comes to a student getting into the school of their choice. You have a lot of people who are wondering how is this going to change their chances. Arvin Vora, co-author of Invitation to the Ivies and founder of the Vora Method, says while the law has changed, a school's politics and goals may not even after the Supreme Court tossed out affirmative action in college admissions. Now, Vora expects to see a huge shift to personality testing as opposed to skills testing. It's rather going to be on understanding some principles of storytelling, understanding how to create extracurriculars that really showcase a certain type of personality. What that means for parents and for students is they need to master the personality test part of the application they want to increase their chances of getting in. That despite Chief Justice John Roberts explicitly warning that universities may not simply establish through application essays the regime we hold unlawful. <laughs> Thursday afternoon, protesters holding signs that read, defend diversity, spoke out against the ruling outside of the Supreme Court. But on the other side of the issue, the group behind the case that led to this ruling believe this will end what they say was discrimination against Asian students with high qualifications. It marks the promise of a new beginning, a resurgence of the principles of the American dream. What I propose for consideration is a new standard, where colleges take into account the adversity a student has overcome. Ultimately, that's where some experts believe this is going. In the past, people spent so much time figuring out how to outsmart SAT problems. Now it's time to start to figure out how to outsmart personality test problems. Doesn't matter what your race is, that's where your focus should be. Now he says weight will shift now to more things like how rare or unusual a student's extracurriculars are and to any stories of overcoming the odds. Reporting live at the Supreme Court, Carl Willis, 7 News. Carl, thanks. And as you can imagine, the Supreme Court's decision has generated a whole lot of chatter on social media. In fact, these are just some of the tweets that we're seeing from people both for and against the ruling to end college affirmative action programs. We do want you to join this conversation. Do you agree with the Supreme Court's ruling? You can tweet us your response using the tag 7 News DC, and you can read the full Supreme Court decision, including the dissenting opinions from the justices. Right now, we've put it all on our website for you at WJLA.com.